Hi there, this is Maurice Red, and I want to thank you for checking out our video today. I have a very special message for local business owners, uh, sales professionals, entrepreneurs out there who are trying to use social media to grow their business in a more effective and efficient manner. I also have a special gift for you today, so please stay tuned to the end of this message. Now, the message has to do with social media and how are we using it as business owners, you know, business people. Now, I think we all have to agree by now that social media is here to stay. So, even those of you out there who maybe said you would never get on social media or never use it, uh, 2 billion people, I think, can't be wrong. And uh, it is a platform that's going to be around for a long time. Uh, people are using this, and I think it's a great thing for businesses to think about because, one, people are spending more and more time on these types of sites. Two, it is a free platform for, obviously, for people to use, for businesses to get involved with. I do think there's a cost associated with time, but that's a different issue. And thirdly is, uh, again, it's going to be here for the present, and I think it's going to be around for the future. So you want to position yourself in places where things are going to be and where they're going to be. Now, what I see what's happening right now is that we're entering the second wave of what I call social media. The first wave dealt with everybody basically getting in. And now you see that pretty much everybody who... Uh, never said they were going to get into social media. You know, your parents, your grandparents are now on Facebook and Twitter and those kind of places. So it's pretty much commonplace and used by all. And I think what's happening now is that even as a business, you may have put yourself on there because you wanted to be a part of the wave. Maybe you saw yourself as positioning yourself, which may be good for you. Perhaps you got a lot of followers or likes and fans and those kind of things as part of that process. And it may even help your business in some ways. But what I see that I think is a big problem is that People who are not being very strategic about how they're using these platforms are going to have some issues coming up, and those issues are going to affect all of us in business in three very interesting ways that I want to talk with you about right now. Now, the first way is being overwhelmed. I think that there's obviously a ton of information out there in these sites, and if you've ever looked at a Facebook feed or a Twitter feed and those kind of things, there's so much coming at you, it's very hard to kind of decipher and get through to what is really kind of things you want to see and information that is really going to help you or help you grow your business. Two, I see as a biggest, the biggest problem I think that's potentially out there is that there's a lot of spammy kind of comments that are coming from businesses where basically they're kind of posting out information that's kind of saying, just buy my stuff or, you know, uh, check out something that's not really worth checking out and just not really providing a lot of value that's going to help anybody who's really the average person. And well, how that hurts businesses as a whole is that people start putting up defenses and you almost start kind of glazing over those kind of comments and those posts. And it becomes like, you know, what I fear is it's going to be like how commercials are right now. So you think about commercials on TV and radio and such. Once you start seeing those things, you know, you, you gloss over, you want to get out of there. You start reaching for the phone. You start, you know, going to the bathroom. Whatever you're going to do is to get away from the commercials. So that's a very serious problem I think we have to think about and address. Thirdly, I see is the issue of the major time suck that can become from social media. And I'm sure we've all experienced this, you know, in our personal time. But as a business, you know, you want to get on there and check out a few things on Facebook or Twitter to kind of see what's happening from time to time. And, you know, maybe say happy birthday to some of your customers or fans and potential customers to kind of make some relationships out there. But, you know, there's so many things. You get invited to join some kind of game or there's events that are going on. And it can take a lot of time. You can spend 30, 45 minutes without even dropping a hat and not even thinking about it. So that's a very major issue that's coming forward. And again, that's really what leads us to, the, to this video. Is like, okay, how can we effectively and efficiently use these things in, uh, in good ways? And this gets to the gift that I have for you today is a, in the form of a webinar. So I've actually been part of a uh, course, and training course that I've been using about social media and such. And as part of that, there was a contest been put out to actually provide something of value to people you think that could actually help them out. And this is the topic that I've chosen to use. And for this contest, for me to win, I have to provide, obviously, some very good content that you think is good. And so uh, for me to win, I have to help you win, help provide something that you think is really good. So I'm looking for your feedback to help me shape this up in terms of uh, comments and suggestions about how things should go. Uh, so please uh, connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Those are going to be the three places we're going to be looking at in terms of this series of webinars. This is actually a kickoff to what I'm calling a social media Java series to give your business a little kick. So think about that little espresso shot or double espresso you might get in the morning to give your little kick in the morning. This is actually going to be for help your business get a little kick uh, as well. 
So we're going to be uh, leveraging some people who I've met uh, through the process as well, people who are doing some really great things online and have a lot of success on some of these platforms. I'm going to give you some insider tips that you know I would really say that 97% of the population, especially your competition, would not have any idea about in terms of how to use certain apps, you know, insider kind of trips. Uh, tri tips and tricks to help you uh, save time and save energy and to analyze what's been going on, things you're putting out there. So uh, I think there's going to be a lot of valuable, cool stuff you want to see here and be a part of the process. So all you have to do is put your information in below in the form. I will send you an email when the webinar will be coming forward. It'll be very soon. And uh, before then as well, maybe give you some more little tips and tricks to kind of help get you ready for that. So thank you again for your time. And I look forward to seeing you in the webinars and connecting with you guys on some of the social media platforms out there. Have a great day.